Have you ever wondered if your divine masculine is thinking about you? In the realm of spiritual connections, this question often arises. Today, we're exploring the intriguing concept of divine connections, a mystical bond that transcends the physical plane. At the heart of these connections are the divine, masculine, and feminine. These two energies, though distinct, are eternally linked, mirroring the profound relationship between twin flames. As we journey through this topic, we'll be focusing on the divine feminine's perspective, specifically the signs she may see or feel when her divine masculine counterpart is thinking about her. This isn't just about vague feelings or hunches. These signs are tangible, palpable experiences that can provide insight into the divine masculine's thoughts and emotions. This exploration of divine connections may challenge your perceptions, but it also promises to be a fascinating journey. Are you ready to delve deeper into this spiritual phenomenon? To understand this better, let's delve into these signs. Firstly, the Divine Feminine may encounter unusual synchronicities. Now, you might be asking, what are synchronicities? Well, in the simplest terms, synchronicities are meaningful coincidences. They are those moments where the universe seems to be nudging you, whispering subtle hints in your ear. They are unexpected events that, while they may seem random, are connected to a larger pattern, a grander design. Imagine, for instance, you're thinking about someone and suddenly their favorite song plays on the radio. Or you find a feather on your path, a symbol that holds a significant meaning for you and your divine masculine. Or perhaps you keep stumbling upon a particular word or phrase, one that is tied to your shared experiences or conversations. These are all examples of synchronicities. But why do these synchronicities occur? You see, it is believed that when the Divine Masculine is thinking about the Divine Feminine, the energy of that thought, that emotion, is so potent that it ripples through the universe. It influences the cosmic tapestry, creating these patterns of synchronicities as signals, as messages for the Divine Feminine to notice. Yet it's important to remember that these synchronicities aren't just random events. They aren't mere coincidences. They are the universe's way of saying that you are on the right path, that you are connected to the divine masculine in ways that transcend the physical realm. They are the universe's way of affirming that the bond between the divine feminine and masculine is not just a fanciful notion, but a tangible cosmic reality. So when you encounter these unusual synchronicities, pay attention, notice them, reflect on them. What do they mean to you? What do they remind you of? How do they make you feel? These synchronicities, these cosmic whispers, are guiding you, leading you towards a deeper understanding of your connection with the Divine Masculine. These synchronicities are more than just coincidences. They are a communication from the universe. The second sign is having intense dreams. Dreams, those mysterious journeys we embark upon each night, have long held a place of significance in spiritual connections. They serve as a bridge, a pathway connecting the conscious and unconscious realms. It's in this twilight world that the Divine Masculine might be reaching out, attempting to communicate or express their thoughts and feelings. When you're in a spiritual connection with your Divine Masculine, you might start noticing that your dreams become more vivid, more intense. It's as if the veil between the physical and spiritual worlds becomes thinner, allowing for a deeper, more profound connection. You may find yourself dreaming about your divine masculine, perhaps engaging in conversations or experiences that you've not yet had in waking life. These dreams might have a surreal quality to them, filled with vivid colors, profound emotions, and a sense of realness that lingers even after you've awakened. But why dreams? Well, dreams are a medium unbound by physical limitations, a realm where the soul can express itself freely. When the Divine Masculine thinks about you, it might stir up energy that travels through the spiritual realm, manifesting in your dreams. It's important to note that these dreams are not just figments of your imagination. They are messages, insights, and signs from the spiritual realm, indicating that the Divine Masculine is thinking about you. So how do you interpret these dreams? Start by remembering as much as you can. Write them down, note the emotions, the symbols, and the overall feel of the dream. Over time, patterns might emerge, 
giving you a clearer understanding of what your divine masculine might be trying to communicate. Remember, dreams are a personal experience, and their interpretations can vary greatly from person to person. What feels significant to you may not be to someone else and vice versa. Trust your intuition, your inner knowing, to guide you through the labyrinth of dream symbolism. Pay attention to your dreams. They might be telling you something. The whispers of the divine masculine might be echoing through the corridors of your dreams, waiting for you to listen, to understand, to respond. So when you lay down to sleep, invite these dreams in. Open your heart to the possibilities they bring, for they might just be the sign you've been looking for. Thirdly, you might feel a sudden rush of emotions. Now these emotions can be vast and varied, but they all have one thing in common, intensity. Imagine you're going about your day, and out of nowhere, you're hit with a wave of happiness, sadness, or longing. You might feel a sudden surge of love, or perhaps a pang of melancholy. These aren't your run-of-the-mill emotions. They're deeper, more profound, almost as if they're not entirely your own. You see, when the divine masculine thinks of you, their thoughts are imbued with such force that they can traverse the spiritual plane and reach you, manifesting as these overpowering emotions. This is the universe's way of letting you know that you're in their thoughts, that you're connected on a level beyond the physical. For instance, you could be in the middle of a mundane task like washing dishes or reading a book and suddenly feel an inexplicable surge of joy. This could be the divine masculine's happiness reaching you, their elation at the thought of you. Or perhaps you might be overcome with a profound sense of longing, a yearning that seems to come from deep within. This could be the divine masculine's desire for you, their yearning to be with you. But remember, these emotions are not meant to cause distress or confusion. They're signs, messages from the universe, meant to help you understand your connection with the divine masculine. So if you find yourself experiencing these sudden emotional surges, take a moment to acknowledge them, to understand them. These emotions are not just feelings, they're a language, a form of communication between you and the Divine Masculine. They are a testament to the depth of your connection, to the power of your bond. So when you feel them, don't dismiss them. Embrace them, understand them, for they are a sign of the Divine Masculine's thoughts. Remember, emotions are the language of the soul. The fourth sign is experiencing physical sensations. The body, just like the mind and soul, is a gateway to the vast mystical realm of the divine. It's through this physical form that we often receive signs and signals from the universe. Imagine walking down a bustling street and all of a sudden you feel a strange tingle down your spine or perhaps a sudden warmth enveloping your heart. These sensations might seem random, but they could be more than just a stray draft or a fleeting emotion. They could be signs that your divine masculine counterpart is thinking about you. You see, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine are inextricably linked, even at a physical level. So when the Divine Masculine is thinking about you, your body might respond with certain physical sensations. This could manifest as a flutter in your heart, a shiver down your spine, or even a sudden burst of energy. You might feel a sense of comfort, a sudden lightness, or an unexplained warmth flowing through you. But remember, these sensations are subtle, they are not dramatic or overwhelming. Rather, they are gentle whispers from the universe, nudging you towards awareness. You need to be in tune with your body, be aware of its signals and nuances to be able to pick up these divine messages. Also, it's essential to understand that these physical sensations are personal. What one person experiences can be entirely different from what another person feels. That's because each person's connection with their divine masculine is unique. So don't compare your experiences with others. Instead, focus on recognizing your own unique physical sensations. It's like a secret language between you and the Divine Masculine, a language that only you can understand, a language that speaks through the heartbeats, the goosebumps, the shivers, and the warmth, a language that makes you feel connected, loved, and cherished. So the next time you experience an unexplained physical sensation, don't dismiss it. Pause for a moment, reflect on it, it might just be a sign from the Divine Masculine. Your body might be more connected to the Divine Masculine than you think. 
Fifthly, you might have unexpected thoughts about the Divine Masculine. This is a fascinating sign, one that can take you by surprise, but it's a clear indicator that the Divine Masculine might be thinking about you. The Divine Feminine. Let's explore this. Imagine you're going about your day, and out of the blue, thoughts of the Divine Masculine invade your mind. You might think of a specific person embodying this energy or the concept itself. These thoughts aren't just passing daydreams or fleeting memories. They're intense, vivid, and often accompanied by a sense of warmth and familiarity. You see, the Divine Masculine and Feminine are interconnected, sharing an energy that transcends the physical realm. This connection forms a bridge between the two, allowing thoughts and emotions to flow freely. So when thoughts of the Divine Masculine suddenly appear, it's as if a signal is being sent, a call from one Divine to another. But why does this happen? It's believed that when the Divine Masculine thinks about the Divine Feminine, their energy resonates at a specific frequency. This frequency travels across the bridge of connection, reaching the Divine Feminine and manifesting as unexpected thoughts. So what should you do when this happens? Embrace it. Let the thoughts flow and explore them. They're not just random mental images. They're messages, insights, and affirmations from the Divine Masculine. They're signs of a connection that's not only spiritual, but also deeply personal. Remember, these unexpected thoughts are not about obsession or uncontrolled thinking. They're about a deep spiritual connection communicating through the language of the mind. It's a sacred conversation that happens at the soul level and it's a beautiful testament to the bond between the Divine Masculine and Feminine. Your thoughts are a powerful tool for connection. So, the next time you find yourself unexpectedly thinking about the Divine Masculine, take a moment to acknowledge this profound connection. It's a sign that the Divine Masculine might be thinking about you reaching out in the most intimate way possible. The sixth sign is hearing their name or seeing their image unexpectedly. This is a subtle yet profound way the universe communicates that the Divine Masculine is thinking about the Divine Feminine. Imagine this, you're going about your day and suddenly, out of nowhere, you hear the name of your Divine Counterpart. It could be in a conversation you overhear or perhaps it echoes from a radio or television in the background. It's as though the universe itself is whispering their name in your ear, reminding you of their presence in your life or perhaps it's their image that appears before you. It could be someone who bears a striking resemblance to your divine counterpart, or maybe their picture pops up unexpectedly on your social media feed. It's not a mere coincidence, it's a message, a signal that they are thinking about you, reaching out to you in their thoughts. This sign, however, requires a degree of sensitivity and openness. It's easy to dismiss such occurrences as random or meaningless. Yet, in the realm of divine connections, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Every event, every moment is infused with significance, especially when it comes to the twin flame journey. But why does the universe communicate in such a cryptic fashion? Well, the divine operates beyond our human understanding. It utilizes the language of symbols, signs, and synchronicities to convey its messages. It's a language that speaks directly to our souls, bypassing the logical mind and resonating with our innermost being. So the next time you hear their name spoken aloud, or their image crosses your path, pay attention, pause for a moment, and tune into the energy of the encounter. Does it stir something within you? Does it bring a sense of comfort, warmth, or excitement? If so, it's a clear sign that your divine counterpart is thinking about you, connecting with you on a spiritual level. Remember, in the world of divine connections, nothing is accidental. Every sign Every synchronicity is a piece of a larger cosmic puzzle, leading us closer to our divine counterpart. The universe communicates in mysterious ways. Seventh, you might feel their energy around you. This is a sign that's a bit more abstract, and yet, it's one of the most profound. It's about feeling the divine masculine's energy around you. Now you might be asking, what does that even mean? Well, let's explore this together. Energy is an elusive concept, yet it's something we all understand on an intuitive level. It's the spark that makes us feel alive, the invisible force that connects us all. 
We all have our unique energy signature. And when we're deeply connected with someone, we can often sense their energy, even from afar. So when we talk about feeling the divine masculine's energy, it's about sensing their unique presence in your life. It's like tuning into a specific radio frequency. You're picking up on their thoughts, their emotions, maybe even their physical state. This is not something you can rationally explain. It's more of a gut feeling, an instinct. You might feel a sudden warmth enveloping you, a sense of comfort or an inexplicable joy. Perhaps you notice a certain scent that reminds you of them, or a song that resonates with your shared memories starts playing out of nowhere. These are all different ways in which you can feel their energy. Remember, energy is not bound by time or space. It's possible to feel someone's energy even if they're miles away, even if they're not physically present. The Divine Masculine might be thinking about you, sending you their thoughts, their love, their longing, and you're picking up on that energy. This is a sign that your connection is strong, that your souls are intertwined. Now you might doubt this feeling. You might think, is this real or is it just my imagination? But here's the thing, trust your intuition, trust your feelings. Your heart knows what your mind can't comprehend. Energy doesn't lie. The eighth sign is seeing repeating numbers. Now this may sound a little out there for some, but it's quite fascinating when you delve into it. You see, numbers have long been considered as the universal language. They hold a unique power, a certain significance that transcends the boundaries of language and culture. So, when you start seeing repeating numbers, it could be more than just mere coincidence. Consider this. You're going about your day, and suddenly you notice the time. It's 11 past 11. You smile, shrug it off, and continue with your tasks. But then, you see the number 11 again maybe on a page you're reading, or on a billboard as you're driving. You start to wonder, is this a sign? In the world of divine connections, it very well could be. These repeating numbers, often referred to as angel numbers, are believed to be messages from the universe, or more specifically, from your divine masculine. Now, each number sequence carries a different energy, a different message. For instance, the number 1111 often symbolizes a spiritual awakening or a reminder of your purpose. It's like a nudge from the universe, or in this context, from your divine masculine, urging you to pay attention, to tune in. Seeing these repeating numbers is like receiving a cosmic text message. It's a sign that the divine masculine is thinking about you, reaching out in a subtle yet profound way. It's their way of reminding you of the connection, of the bond that exists between you two. However, it's important to remember that these signs are not just about the divine masculine reaching out. They are also a prompt for you, the Divine Feminine, to reflect, to tune into your own spiritual journey. So the next time you see repeating numbers, pause for a moment. Reflect on what they might be trying to tell you. Is it a message from your Divine Masculine, or is it a reminder of your own spiritual journey? Numbers are the universe's way of sending messages. So pay attention, and you might just decipher a message from the Divine Masculine. Finally, the ninth sign is feeling a sense of peace and love. This is a profound sensation that seeps into the very core of your being. It's not about the absence of conflict or the presence of harmony. It's much deeper, much more profound than that. It's a state of tranquility that transcends the mundane, the ordinary. It's a feeling that resonates with the deepest, most authentic part of you. This sense of peace and love is not just about feeling good, it's about feeling connected, feeling one with the universe, feeling one with the divine masculine. It's about experiencing a love that is unconditional, a love that is all-encompassing, a love that transcends the physical and ventures into the spiritual. The reason why this sense of peace and love might be a sign that the divine masculine is thinking about the divine feminine is because of the deep spiritual connection they share. This connection is not bound by time or space, it's not constrained by the physical realm. It transcends the physical and touches the spiritual. When the Divine Masculine thinks about the Divine Feminine, it's not just a thought. It's a spiritual energy that is sent out into the universe. This energy is received by the Divine Feminine, resulting in a sense of peace and love. It's important to remember that this feeling is not dependent on any external circumstances. 
It's not about what's happening around you. It's about what's happening within you. It's about your connection with the divine masculine and the energy that is exchanged between the two of you. So if you're experiencing this sense of peace and love, it could very well be a sign that the divine masculine is thinking about you. It's a sign that you're connected on a deep spiritual level. It's a sign that there's a spiritual bond between you that can't be broken. A bond that transcends the physical and ventures into the spiritual. Love is the ultimate spiritual connection. By now, you should have a better understanding of the signs that the Divine Masculine is thinking about you. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? We began by discussing the concept of Divine Connections, and then delved into the specific signs that could indicate the presence of the Divine Masculine in your life. We explored the first sign, unusual synchronicities, those strange coincidences that seem too meaningful to be mere chance. We learned that these could be messages from the Divine Masculine, a nudge to let you know they're thinking about you. Next, we touched on intense dreams, vivid and emotionally charged experiences that could carry messages from the Divine Masculine. We then moved into the realm of emotions, discussing how a sudden rush of feelings could be another sign of the Divine Masculine's thoughts. Our journey continued with the exploration of physical sensations, we learned that unexplained tingles or warmth could be a manifestation of the Divine Masculine's energy. We also considered unexpected thoughts about the Divine Masculine random moments where they pop into your mind out of the blue. We then discussed hearing their name, or seeing their image, signs that can be quite startling, but are often seen as a clear indication of the Divine Masculine's presence. We also delved into the experience of feeling their energy around you, a sense of their presence even when they're not physically there. Our exploration took us to the fascinating world of repeating numbers, a sign often associated with spiritual messages and divine intervention. Last but not least, we discussed the profound sense of peace and love that can wash over you, a sign often interpreted as the divine masculine sending nurturing and supportive energy your way. In this journey, we've uncovered the many ways the Divine Masculine might be communicating with you. It's important to remember that these signs are not definitive proof, but rather guideposts on your spiritual journey. They're invitations to deepen your connection with the Divine Masculine and explore what this relationship means to you. Interpreting these signs can be a deeply personal process. It's not about finding the right answer, but rather about understanding what feels true to you. It's about trusting your intuition, allowing yourself to be guided by your feelings and experiences. Remember, your divine connection is unique and personal. Trust your intuition and let the universe guide you.